Now we are going to look at the control components which are there in Evolved Packet Core which help us to determine if a certain call is admissible and if that call is admitted into the network then uh, depending upon the profile uh, it is built. So we have two important elements uh, specifically we see here we have the home subscriber server and the policy and charging rule function. Now these two control network elements in the evolved packet core are working together with the gateway nodes in the evolved packet core. So we see that uh, essentially there is a signaling path which is established between the HSS PCRF with other network elements in the APC because as such they are not responsible for providing circuit for bearer path. So the home subscriber server is like a database. It is a database which is centralized in the Evolved Packet Core to provide useful user related information depending upon the context. So it means once a certain connection is admitted then home subscriber server is invoked to carry out the activities step by step. For instance, the authentication center is now integrated. Remember, in 2G networks, authentication center was part of the uh, HLR, VLR and OSS um, server center. Here it is integrated into the HSS. So the authentic authentication center provides the necessary uh, hash function, the SIM related information which is validated and the user is now allowed to enter into the network and avail services. The location is also provided by the HSS which is essentially nothing but the current mobility management entity to which the user is at the moment connected to. The subscriber profile determines the level of mobility and the uh, data rate and other uh, service related information that a user is entitled to. Uh, that means certain services. At the same time, uh, the packet data networks to which a certain user is allowed to be connected to are also listed. The home subscriber server actually has a very important relationship uh, with the mobility management entity because it is going to provide functionality in the wake of uh, roaming if roaming is permissible for this particular user. Another important entity which is used for providing the AAA kind of service for the um, LTE, LTEA networks in release uh, um, 8 onwards is the policy and charging rules function. Now the policy and charging rule functions is a server that provides a variety of uh, billing, identification, subscription, uh, notification service. So it is more of a software based network node that provides policy repository that is a number of policies can be hosted and a user can be treated depending upon the activation and uh, uh, enforcement of a certain policy and then certain charging and billing model like uh, a prepaid customer or a postpaid customer. Uh, the PCRF now also has an important role because if you remember the original uh, uh, 3GPP architecture for the next generation networks, uh, we had the transport stratum and above it we had the uh, uh, services stratum. So the policy and charging rules functions is also important because it, it integrates and combines these. Um, uh, PCRF now detects if a certain call is admitted. So it depending upon the flow ID, the service flow, it invokes relevant and associated rules for it um, in real time. It means that uh, um, whatever is taking place uh, is taking place in a matter of uh, 
few milliseconds because you know that for audio visual uh, and multimedia content delivery in uh, next generation networks the overall delay should not preferably exceed uh, 150 milliseconds otherwise we'd have a jittery and uh, unpleasant kind of experience so real time actually means that pcrf works very fast uh, so it enforces the charging policy it means that if a user has an account or a wallet uh, that we already have uh, known by now a uh, deduction would start to be uh, made from the user wallet in real time uh, now there's imp another important role of the uh, uh, this charging uh, policy and uh, charging rule function server that it 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 implements the uh, deduction or the transaction deduction model through the policy and charging enforcement function now uh, we should not be uh, going too much into the details but uh, expectedly pcrf is a large server with a lot of functionality pcef is a service which is available on that server once a user is admitted into the network now this enforcement function is required whenever and wherever a certain data path or the bearer path is established um in uh, epc since we are talking about a uh, ip multimedia subsystem that is sip based services if a certain application entity bypasses the direct uh, the in intermediate nodes uh, and connects to the um, serving gateway directly then the application function or the user api uses again the services available within this pcrf server to apply the uh, uh, the policy and charging control uh, rules and functions 